Hey there guys, Misty here from the Joyful Elf. Welcome back to another video in my Critter Week. After the fiasco of yesterday, I've decided that I'm just going to do a voiceover for the next few days and then you will see my smiling face again next week. So for today's card, I'm using the Beautiful Day stamp set and specifically I'm using that butterfly. I'm also going to be using several pieces of designer series paper from the Sweet Soiree specialty designer series paper. Um, I really love this old olive with the berry burst. I think it's really pretty. It's very stunning and just a really pretty card. So like I will, excuse me, like always, I will have a blog post linked in the description box down below where you'll find the measurements for the pattern papers and the cardstock layers. Um, I know that they're one, one eighth of an inch bigger, but I can't remember them offhand. So I'm adhering everything together with Tombow liquid glue. And then once I have the last layer adhered together, I'm actually gonna add that to the card base using Stampin' Dimensionals. And like I've mentioned before, I'm finishing up the ones that came in March's Paper Pumpkin. Make sure you get signed up for Paper Pumpkin by the 10th if you want the April kit. And don't forget that it's 50% off if you are a new subscriber. That link is also in the description box and over on the coordinating blog post. Um, I'd actually considered adding ribbon. I have some old olive ribbon, I had some berry burst ribbon, and I decided that I didn't want to. So I am stamping this butterfly using Memento Tuxedo Black onto a piece of white cardstock. I'm gonna be using my Rich Razzleberry and my Calypso Coral Stampin' Blends. Now these are out of stock until um, May-ish, but they will be back then. So if you're, you're wanting them, you can start saving your money for that. Um, again, I'm hoping they come out with more colors in the annual catalog. So I'm going to turn on some music and let you watch this quick coloring. So after coloring, I went ahead and cut out the butterfly and I'm using the brush tip of my basic black marker to outline it. And of course, it wouldn't be something of mine if I didn't add some Winkostella. This is a clear Winkostella and I love that you can really see it in this angle. So it's gonna be really shiny and pretty. And then I felt like I wanted to bring in a bit more white from the pattern paper. So I'm just using a Signal Uniball white gel pen to add some um, dots and some lines. Now I end up smearing a couple of these. So one thing to know is that this is a basically a pigment ink and a pen and you need to let it dry. So just be careful. So once I've done that, I am adding glue to the side that will be on the, um, pattern paper and then I am adding dimensionals to the other side and we'll get this adhered. adhere it on an angle just to give it a bit more interest and dimension and then I felt like it needed something else so I'm going to bring in the glitter enamel dots um, from the catalog I'm going to be using the pink color which is definitely really close to um, this berry burst when it's the darker pink um, I really love these dots they're probably one of my favorite these and the white perfect accents have been my most favorite things um, as far as accents and embellishments. So here you can see that I am trying to fix a couple of my dots, but I do really like the white and how it really stands out and pops against that coral and the rich razzleberry. And then in just a second, I'm like, okay, I need two more dots. <laughs> so 
that's it guys thank you so much for joining me today i hope you like this card don't forget to head over to the blog post to get the measurement and i'll see you tomorrow bye for now